Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Here's the long-awaited video of Joseph. Joseph, I cannot pronounce your last name for the life of me, so I'm just going to put it on the screen. But guys, he's been a faithful Team 3D subscriber for a very, very, very long time. I think all the way back to 2012 or 2011, I'm not sure. But it's one of the OG subs. But anyway, this video is too late. Now, it's not just a, obviously a shout-out. But uh, to, to look at his progress, I love those progress videos, guys. It motivates me, I'll be honest with you guys. It pumps me up, you know what I mean? Just seeing, because again, I'm motivated by progress. I love growth. That's why even all my favorite video games are games where you constantly level up, you know. I, I, I hate doing the same shit all the time and not getting nowhere, right? So when I see somebody's amazing transformation or progress, I don't care if it's uh, something that's super impressive or just something that shows consistency, I get pumped up, you know, I mean, I just get inspired, you know, because to me, that's really what the, the whole point of, like, living is, to constantly make progress, constantly hit milestones. So um, on today's episode, we have Joseph, right? And again, I ask the same five questions to everybody, whether it's a shout-out video or whether it's a, a, a transformation video or whatever. Um, same five questions, so you guys can relate with them better. Uh, I want you guys to subscribe to them. Now, again, this is, it's not about, it's not its not just Team 3D. It doesn't have to be somebody who's part of Team 3D or who believes in Team No, it's just someone that's going to inspire, right, young people. Someone that's going to inspire, in fact, I should say young or old people, right? Uh, so even if, uh, for example, there, there's some people out there who, uh, who relate with, People that that look like them, people that have similar body types, um, similar philosophies, you know. So for me to just hide, all you know, you know, just my subscribers, like that, to me, to me, that makes no sense. You know, it makes no sense. Only insecure people do that shit, right? Where they're like, oh, I'm not gonna give a shout out. I'm trying to keep everything for myself. Me, 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 me. That shows insecurity because you're scared to be dethroned. You're scared to like, you know, uh, uh, let other people move up. You know, which to me, the more the better. The more competition, the better. Um, everyone is going to relate to who they have in common with the most anyway. You know what I mean? It's, it's not it's not a numbers game. You know? It's all about helping each other grow and getting to the top, right? So let's look at Joseph. Location. Joseph is from Croatia. Uh, for you guys who, who skip history class or geography class, it's in Europe. Um, and I'm, I like what he said. He said, uh, you know, a proud, proud place, you know, proud kingdom in the Middle Ages. Um, and... Um, his transformation is amazing because he almost just like almost like Stephen, was Stephen? Yeah, Stephen. Almost like Stephen's transformation. They're both fighters, right? Um, Stephen is soccer and boxing. Joseph is more into like MMA style. And every time I ask him, you know, he's always he, his goal never changed. He wants to be the best fighter ever, you know. And I like those grand goals because, like I always say, if you set massive goals, even if you don't make it, right, you'll be higher than the person who set a bitch ass goal, right? And just that that uh, that mindset inspires, you know, that mindset, that mindset to, hey, I don't I don't want to just be good. I want to be the greatest. You know, I love that, you know, because th those are the people that, uh, you know, I looked up to when I was growing up. You know, Alexander the Great, Napoleon, all these guys who set the greatest goals. And even though they didn't achieve them all, they were able to do more than the average person. So when someone comes out there and says, hey, my goal is to be the greatest X, Y, Z or A, B, C. I'm like, fuck yeah, man. Go out there. Because not everybody thinks like that. All right. So he's from Croatia. Look at some of his pictures. Um, look at his before picture. All right. Super amazing. And uh, the second question I asked him was uh, how, he, you know, how he started working out, how he started training. And he said he made his own barbell, you know, 20 kilogram barbell when he was very young. And I think it was around 2012. Um, yeah, around 2012. And he made his own barbell. And he just started, you know, training, you know. And um, people, are, people are wondering, how did he make his own barbell? You understand, people that have a will, they will find any way to fucking work out. Kind of like my friends that went to prison and things like that. They found the most creative ways to work out. He just took bottles and filled them up with shit, you know, and just started working out. So from a young age, you already saw that that conquer mentality, you know. I fucking love that shit. So that's how he started training. Um, he said the greatest thing that motivated him was bullying. Right, and I could relate with that because when I was a kid, I remember I used to get bullied a lot, you know, until I went beast mode. And I was like, nah, fuck that, you know. So, the bullying helped them obviously bring the beast out. And like I would say, you don't grow when you're comfortable. You grow when you put in a very, very uncomfortable, uncomfortable position, you know. I am where I am today because of my my childhood, you know, my relationship with my mom, my you know, relationship with my dad, which could always be better. Uh, the bullying, 
the you know the loneliness all those things is what made me who i am today you know all those hardships so same thing with joseph you know he said the bullying really you know activated what i call the alpha gene right it really made him say you know what fuck this shit never again you know, i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate right um so that's how he got started and um he said uh in one of the messages he was like from that day, I told myself that, number one, this will never happen to me again. Number two, I'll be the strongest, bravest fighter in the world, right? And again, back to that that mindset of setting those grand goals. So, yeah, that's how he got started into training. Number three, I asked him how he got the most results, right, out of his training, you know, how he got the most gains um, so everybody can, you know, kind of look and compare with their training and their routine and learn a thing or two. And he said the same thing, you know, super high frequency, super high frequency training. Uh, doing the same thing repeatedly, um, eating at least six meals a day, high carbs, you know, especially because he, he was skinny. As you could tell from his before pictures, he was very skinny. So and I, I keep telling you guys, if you're skinny, every skinny person I've worked with, the secret was carbs, 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 carbs. When they increased their carbs, they went through the same thing with Matt, Mohammed. I mean, Matt was eating like 400 grams. I told him, Matt, 400 grams of carbs minimum. You know, and when he blew up, he was like, oh my God, these are steroids. I'm like, shut the fuck up. It's not all about steroids. When somebody's changing what he's doing drastically and he's doing what fucking works, you should expect to see a dramatic transformation, right? It's one plus one equals two. You know, just because you guys keep doing the same shit, right? and I'm referring to the haters, by the way. Guys will do the same shit all the time, refuse to think outside the box, you know, over there fucking worried about the, you know, ah, oh, don't let me get me started, right? If you're not growing, chances are you're doing something wrong, you know, unless your genetics are really ass, which I doubt it. I doubt it. It's a very small percentage of the population that have really, 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 really bad genetics. You know, majority of us can still grow. So, again, if you're not growing, humble yourself and try to, you know, ask for advice. Try to see what's missing. For him, it was carbs, you know. You might be something else. So, uh, so yeah, so that's what he did. High frequency training, you know, obviously eating enough to, to fuel the workouts and support the growth. And, of course, um, the carbs. And he also said, you know, he did high volume. You know, he didn't worry too much about the weight. He just focused on doing a lot of volume, progressively overloading, you know, all that stuff. You know, you guys are obsessed with weight. It drives me insane. You know, weight is one of the tools. It's one of the most efficient tools, in, in fact, to build muscle. But it's not the only tool. You know, it's not the only tool. You know, I personally like to live heavy because, number one, it feels good. Number two, it's, again, more efficient to grow the fibers. But there are so many other ways, you know, doing high reps, high volume, high frequency, doing negatives, doing stretching, you know, it's all, it's all about overloading. It's always overloading something, right? So anyway, so uh, that was his philosophy on training. That's how he got the most results, you know, and he also did a lot of uh, stretching, you know. Uh, he saw a lot of videos on stretching and he implemented that, I believe, on his triceps. And he got the crazy triceps doing my favorite exercise for triceps, which is the overhead extension. Great stretch. Um, and, um... Ask him what were his favorites so that you guys could also relate, right? Favorite muscle, triceps, obviously, for him. <laughs> um, favorite exercise was the overhead press. Uh, favorite food, he said schnitzel and sweet potatoes. Interesting. Favorite game, Dog Souls. Dog Souls is my fucking game. I started playing that shit last year. I don't know why it took me so long to, to hop on the Dog Souls series, but it's an awesome game. Speaking of games, by the way, guys, right now I'm playing the fuck out of For Honor. For Honor is my game. I bought my PS4 like two years ago, and I barely touched it. I played like two, two, three games on it, then finish them. I think I only finished one. That was Laws of the Fallen. The rest I couldn't finish because I was too busy. But For Honor came out, bought that shit right away, and I played that shit at least once a week. So if you have For Honor, add me on PS4. Um, anyway, back to this. Uh, so yeah, Dark Souls. Um, I'm, I'm hoping you finish all the Dark Souls game. I only played Demon Souls. That's the only one I beat. I'm about to finish Dark Souls whenever I find time. Next, uh, his favorite movie is Braveheart. Yeah, that's that's one of that's definitely my top ten. Favorite anime is Berserk. Fuck yeah! Oh, it's funny you like Dark Souls and your favorite anime is Berserk because uh, Dark Souls was in, was inspired by the most part from the anime Berserk. Guts is a fucking badass. And uh, favorite song is Amon Amarth. Can't pronounce that shit right. Twilight of the Thunder God. I'm gonna look it up. That sounds like an epic ass title, man. I'm gonna look that song up. And his uh, number five, the fifth question I asked was, what is his, you know, what, what are his goals? What are his lifetime goals? His current goals, short-term goals, and his lifetime goals. Obviously, his lifetime goals to become the strongest and bravest warrior ever. And I'm 100% salute. He wants to be the absolute best at uh, MMA or fighting, you know, whatever. 
And his uh, his current goal is to get, he said, a, a MMA promotion, right? To get a big MMA pro promotion and um, to be a, a great fighter known for jiu-jitsu. So I like how he's focused, you know, dominant discipline direction. You know, he has all three aspects. He knows what his core competitors are. He knows what his competitive advantage is. He knows what his throne is, right? So he got the dominance equation out of the way. You know, he, discipline. Obviously, he's obviously disciplined. He's training frequently. He's eating right. He's doing everything you know he needs to do to get from point A to point B. And the most important part is direction. He has a direction. You know, I keep telling you guys, man. That's why you guys take the self mastery quiz. Take the self mastery quiz. You know, if that's if you don't know your direction. If you know your direction, fuck up. Right, you're already good to go. If not. You don't know your vision. You don't know your mission in life. Take the stuff mastery quiz. It's gonna solve that problem. That's what that's what worked for me. You know, and mind you, I compiled that for me, but I found out that it works for everybody else as well. So, but anyway, so this is uh, Joseph. I'm gonna try one last time to pronounce your last name. Raz. Oh, fuck me. Anyway, guys, Croatian Wall Master is his YouTube name. Check him out and um, make sure you. Hey, baby. Let me finish. Let me finish, Let me finish this video real quick. Okay. I picked you up today. <laughs> anyway, guys, so yeah, check him out. Make sure you uh, subscribe to his channel. Uh, I'm going to put his Instagram or Facebook or whatever social media he's using. And uh, stay connected. You know, if, you, if you're in this area, you know, schedule some workouts. And um, comment below. Comment below. Find out what you guys have in common, what you guys could learn from each other, especially if you're from Croatia. Comment below. I, I want to see uh, a lot more people from that place. I think he's probably the only subscriber I have from that place. I'm not sure. But if I'm wrong, let me know. Or anybody who's in the region. All right, guys. Team 3 Alpha, I'm out.